Hey everyone, this is Stephanie Songbird, and this is a voiceover. I am going to make a cute female elephant treat box, and I got the pattern from, I think, Cuddly Cute Designs. I'm almost sure. I'm, I'm sponging um, all of the pieces using three inks from Stampin' Up. I believe it was Ballet, uh, Ballet Pink, uh, Smoky Slates, and Crumb Cake. So I've already cut out all of my pieces and I've sponged all the edges and I'm just going to start putting them together. So I am pretty good at making these paper pieces that are larger in size. I make the large or the gigantic size for parties um, and those for me are very easy because the pieces are all big, right? So um, I have a harder time doing the smaller things, but I found these um, beautiful treat boxes. I got a, a whole bunch of them from uh, Cuddly Cute Designs and um, they're just adorable and the pieces aren't too small for me to handle. Um, I'm also not wearing my brace which um, <laughs> you'll see in a couple of videos that are coming up that I wasn't wearing my brace because I filmed them all back to back but um, that was probably a mistake because of all the sponging uh, and my hand started to hurt and I ended up having to put on my brace um, immediately after I had finished all of this so lesson to me I have to follow doctor's orders so here I am I'm adding some details to this bow um, just so that it looks like it's uh, folded because it is a flat bow so I'm doing that with a Copic marker in a uh, pink that matches the paper and I start out with um, adding the bow and I, then I do the eyes and actually I should have um, really paid a ton more paid closer attention uh, to the picture that came with the file because I realized that I should have put some things behind others just so that it looks a little more seamless but it still worked out so I have this thing for these cute elephants now I think they're just so adorable and I thought this box would be really good for a baby shower so I wanted to do a prototype or a sample so here I'm just measuring uh, where the eyes should go by placing the trunk. I'm just going to put down my eyes. I love that all the pieces are so big. And it comes with um, the box template. It comes with all the pieces to add to the box to make the elephant. And it comes with um, these two big peanut shapes that say nuts about you but they're actually supposed to be in the front of the box and I didn't put it in the front of the box um, and I ended up not using them in the end but it still came out really cute so after looking at um, the elephant and the trunk I should have sponged the trunk a little bit more and maybe even made some lines to um, mimic creases along the trunk but it's okay it's supposed to be cartoony anyway so here I'm adding um, I don't know what you call this the bottom of their feet I don't know if their feet are similar to um, the material the horses have um, on their hooves but I'm adding that now to her the bottom of her hands and feet or her feet <laughs> and um, doing that in the same light pink as the ears and actually you could make those pieces any color you want so if you had a baby shower that was blue you could make that blue and just not use the bow on her on her head, obviously. Or you could make it um, purple, yellow, any kid-friendly colors would look fantastic with the gray because the gray is a neutral, so it looks pretty good. So I just finished the feet and now I'm going to add the head to the body. And this is where I said to myself, oh, I should have put the head, the face on the, head, on the body part and then put the ears behind it so that um, it would be a little more seamless, but live and learn. Here I'm adding adhesive to the box, the sides of the box, so that I can close the box. And I'm using the Barely Art Glue. Um, it's been my go-to. I prefer the Art Glitter Glue, and I have it. Um, I finally <laughs> found my small bottle, but now the nozzle is not working. So I bought a couple of tips, and they don't even um, they don't fit. So I went back to my uh, Barely Art Glue. So I'm going to add 
the box part, the body of the box, to the body of the elephant now. And this is where I was saying I should have put that back piece behind her face and then the ears last, but it's okay. You'll see what I mean after I show all the parts when it's done. And here goes the face. Oh, it's looking so adorable. I just love it. The only thing this box does not have is a handle. So it's a freestanding box. So it would be look really nice um, on tables with um, goodies. Um, but it isn't the type of box that a child could carry um, with a little handle. They could carry it from the bottom, but not with a little handle. There's no handle. Unless, you know, you wanted to add that, you could with a strip of cardstock, you know, along the sides. But um, it looks so cute as is, I think it's perfect. So here I'm gonna add the feet to the front. And um, the photo shows the feet actually spread out with space in the middle. And that's where the two peanuts that say nuts about you uh, is supposed to go. They're supposed to go there. Um, but I put the feet close to each other and completely forgot about the peanuts. And they're sitting there right there on the side. Uh, there you can see what I mean about the back of the head and I should have put the ears over that but that's okay this is my prototype anyway um, so here the little little hands or feet whatever you call them on an elephant are gonna go right below her little face on the sides and she's actually going to hold a little peanut on uh, the tip of her trunk just making sure that this is in the right spot left a little bit of glue off of the edge there that would stick out and there goes my finger rubbing I'm constantly doing that and I tap my fingers a lot too I noticed that in videos when I'm talking and I'm thinking trying to remember something I start to tap my my fingers it's just habit so here I'm adding the words nuts about you onto these two large peanut shapes I wasn't too happy with the peanuts themselves and I think that's because of the color cardstock that I had I didn't really like it it looked really really dull but uh, the peanuts work anyway I just have them on the side now because I did not um, remember that they go in the front between her feet so I end up not using them here, but I still have them in case I want to make another elephant. I don't have to cut the peanuts again. And if I do, I'll pick a better craft color. So I'm just sponging it. I think I'm sponging with um, early espresso. Um, I actually prefer chocolate chip from Stampin' Up, but they discontinued that color a long time ago and they kept early espresso. But I like chocolate chip more. It looks more brown to me. The espresso looks a little grayish. So here I am adding the peanuts, one in front of the other, and then I'll put the um, words on it. And as you can see, I realized that <laughs> there was no place to put them. You mean you could put them inside the box, right underneath her little feet, but then you wouldn't really see it if you filled it with anything. So there really was no point in putting it there. But again, you live and learn. And I think that my issue here is also that I had uh, my iPad playing. I don't even know what program it was. Sometimes I play um, Barney Miller, which is a show from the 70s. And I think it is just hilarious. I used to watch it as a kid with my dad. And we would laugh so hard. And um, you could actually find the show on some of those uh, free streaming apps. So I think it's so funny. So I can watch the episodes over and over again. I think that's what got me distracted. Here I'm just adding some uh, hearts to her cheeks. And I kept those the lighter pink. And now I'm going to add the peanut to the back of her trunk as if she were holding it. It's hard to see here, but the peanut has little cutout squares to give it a little texture, but it's hard to see on camera. So now I'm going to work on the eyes, and I don't know how to do eyes very well. Um, I have been watching Connie from uh, Prairie Paper Crafts, um, and she's so good at making her images look alive through the eyes, right? They say the, the eyes are the window to the soul. She makes them look so good. So here, um, 
I'm attempting to do what she does, except I don't have chalk. Um, but I make do with the gel pens. And then I have this problem with gel pens. I never have luck with gel pens. It, it, they're never um, smooth. They don't come out with a lot of ink. And then um, I just have to keep going over it and over it with a couple of different gel pens. But in the end, it works out. But I see others using it, and it looks so smooth when they use it. Just like one quick swipe and they're done but that's not my case so I'm just adding a curved line and some dots and that gives the illusion of live eyes some chalk right there in the center would be perfect the way that Connie does but I don't have that chalk yet yet so here last last attempt to try to use those peanuts and I grab my <laughs> my mouse and my um my keyboard to look for the picture again to see where I went wrong and I realized yeah they were supposed to be in the front so I try to see if I can pull those feet out but no burly art glue is strong um, not as strong as art glitter glue but strong enough that I didn't want to rip it so I just leave them and just let it be note to self don't watch TV while you're doing your paper piecing at least I can't so there I'm just saying, oh, the feet should have gone to the sides, but it's okay, it still works out. So there I'm giving you a bird's eye view of the box. You can put so many things inside, treats, candies. I'm just showing you a little container from Stamping Up with some brads. That's it. I hope you like it. I think she's pretty cute. You can find her at Cuddly Cute Designs. And that's it for now. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.